coming up, put together a perfect set of pan pipes. Make your own fantastic flying fish. Send a black and silver star into a real spin. And go crazy with gas. Oh man, that's the best way to get rid of a build-up of wind. Music to my ears. No, it's not. It's disgusting. If I wanted to hear music made with wind, I'd much rather listen to Lara and Jordan's panpipes. Ah, home at last. There's Jordan. I wonder what he's listening to. Hey Jordan, what CD is that? It's panpipe music. He's crazy about this CD. Can I have a listen? Thanks. Hmm, hmm, it'll never be a hit, but I like the sound they make. It looks like they're made of bamboo pipes stuck together. Hey Jordan, come with me. I've had an idea. Dad cut down some bamboo in the garden yesterday. Let's use it to make our own pan pipes. Billy? Okay, time to outbelch these boys. Oh no, that was pathetic. Come on, Kimberly. Oh, I wish I could blow off a big one. Okay, Bert boys, bring that table over here. One big balloon, hold that. In goes the funnel. Now a few spoons of baking soda. A little bit at a time, so the funnel doesn't get blocked. Tap it right down into the balloon. Now the vinegar. Tip a good slope down the funnel. Whoa! My burping balloon is going crazy already! Quickly pull the funnel and hold the top closed. It looks like my tummy after I've eaten too much. Ready, boys? Time to let rip with a big one. <laughs> Vinegar reacts with baking soda to make lots of carbon dioxide gas. When Kimberly let the gas slowly escape, it made the rubber neck of the balloon vibrate, producing that gurglingly gaseous sound. It may be disgusting, but at least I'm the master blaster. <laughs> uh, uh, don't even think about it, Taryn. The only thing I want to hear right now is the soothing sound of Jordan and Lyra's panpipes. Jordan and I found these bamboo off cuts in Dad's garden. We have lots of different lengths here. Start putting them in size order, Jordan. I'm just getting a few more things we need. OK, take a piece of sandpaper and smooth off the top of the bamboo pipes. We don't want any splinters left behind. Ouch! I'll try making a note. That's no good. What if I block the bottom of the pipe? There we go. Perfect. Let's use modelling clay to block up all the pipes. Press a bit into the bottom of each one. We've arranged eight pipes from largest to smallest. All we have to do now is tie them together. We're using string to tie them to these skewers. Weave it around the pipes and tie it off at the end. Good. Now, another row of skewers for extra strength. There, one homemade set of pan pipes. Time to get practising. We're making flying fish. We've cut out the fish shapes from brown paper. We'll fly them from these sticks. Stick the string to the fish's mouth and tie the other end to our sticks. There! Perfect flying fish! 
Let's give them a fly. Wee! Whoopee! They're not really perfect. The shape is right, but their skin isn't. Of course, they need scales. Hey, look! There's Dad's boat. He'll have fish on board. Aha! The scales overlap each other. And they're sort of shiny. Hey, I've got an idea. We'll use shiny metallic paper. Cut out lots of fish scale shapes and stick them down so they can wriggle around. Put an eye on. Wow! They're gonna look so cool. Fish are some of the most colourful creatures on Earth. They have cells on their skin and scales called chromatophores that produce coloured pigments. The shiny metallic look comes from other cells that have crystals in them. When these cells move, they reflect light in all different directions, just as Saif and Nisreen's paper fish do. Now it's time for our flying fish to take to the air. Woohoo! They're jumping out of the water. Now they really do look like flying fish. They're so beautiful. Yep, that's one idea I thought would never get off the ground, which is pretty much the predicament Carrie Ann's found herself in. Stuck at ground level. Zach won't go on the seesaw with me. He says he's too heavy and that I'm too light. But even a lightweight lady can lift a big, buffy boy. Just need to know how. I'm building my own seesaw. I need something to lift it up off the ground. Hmm, step ladder. The brick goes on top. Now the beam. There, that's looking like a seesaw. Now here's the clever bit. I make my end longer and Zach's end shorter. Hey Zach! Hey Zach! If I can lift you right up in the air, will you go on the seesaw with me? Okay, okay. You're not that big, Zacky boy. Hop on the end there. Right, here goes. Easy. Wow, Zach, have you lost weight? You're as light as a feather. Carrie Ann has built herself a handy lever. Levers work by taking a small force applied over a large distance and transferring it into a strong force, pushing over a small distance. Levers are so effective, little Carrie Ann could lift heavy Zack with ease. OK, Zack, I won the challenge. On you get. Oh, boy. What a seesaw loser. It's a great day for getting the washing dry. There's plenty of sunshine and a nice breeze. Hey, this black T-shirt is hot. It feels like it's come out of the dryer. What about this white one? No, it feels cool. They've both been out in the sun. But the black one is much hotter. Hey, I've just had a red hot idea. OK, Ashley, let's get creative. Make some room. First, I'll cut two strips of this silver card and colour in the back with a black marker. There. Now I have one silver side and one black. Fold each one at an angle like this. Good. Two Vs. Now I'll cut a slit in the bottom edge of one V and the top of the other V. Use the cuts to fit the two pieces together. All the black sides face one way and all the silver sides face the other. Fix them together with a bit of tape. There! It's like a star-shaped tree decoration. Tie a length of cotton thread around the star and hang it from a flat sheet of card. Place it inside a glass jar. Another piece of tape and something to stop it blowing away. All we have to do now is leave it in the hot sun and wait. 
Wow, look, Ashley. I was right. My silver star is spinning. Fill the jar. It's really warm. The black sides of Grace's star absorb heat energy from the sun and become warm. The silver sides reflect sunlight and stay a little cooler. As the air next to a black side warms up, it expands, pushing against the star. Because the air on the silver side is a little cooler, the resulting difference in air pressure makes the star turn. Great invention! Time to think big, Grace. What about making a giant solar-powered rotating clothes dryer? Wow, a giant rotating outdoor dryer. I bet all the clothes would get blown clean away. Cool, I'm pretty blown away myself with Lara and Jordan's pan pipes. Jordan and I have made a set of pan pipes. They look just like the ones on this CD cover. Here, Jordan, you're the pan pipe fan. Beautiful. A range of high and low notes. Now we just need to learn how to play a tune. Blowing across the top of a pan pipe creates a vibrating column of air inside. The longer the tube, the longer the column of air and the slower the vibration. Slower vibrations make lower notes. Faster vibrations make higher notes. I've become a big fan of Jordan's pan pipe CD. Hey, it's not the CD I'm listening to. It's the real thing. What do you reckon, Dana? A pretty good? Honestly, I think you need to go away and do some practice, Darren. In fact, we've both got to go because we've come to the end of another show. See you next time! <laughs>